Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D Designer and Trainer at AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com. Today we'll be looking at pipe network labels, specifically question marks that can show in place of our pipe network slope and how to solve this problem. Let's take a look. Okay, so I ran into this problem the other day when I was labeling some spans of my pipe networks. I've got this uh, the span of pipe. It's basically a downspout that connects into a catch basin right here. So what I want to do is I want to label this span of pipe. So I go into Add Labels. Wait for that to come up. Uh, click on Pipe Network. Spanning Pipes Plan. And I'm just going to leave that on this PVC. And I go ahead and start adding in the first part and then the last part. So we've got this whole span of pipe that are going to be labeled. Specified label location on the pipe. I'll just click right here. But you see this? I get question marks for my slope. And I'm not sure what's going on here. So when I close this down and I look at my properties window, if I click on this first pipe right here, okay, we've got 1%. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and dock that like so. We've got 1% here. 1% here, and then what about this pipe? Oh, wait a minute, we've got negative 1%. Now that might be the trouble, okay? So in order to get this to work properly, I've got to change the slope so it's consistent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my upstream and downstream structures in order to get this to come out correctly. Now the way to do that is to go ahead and select that pipe and I'm going to cl click Modify, Change Flow Direction. And it says right here, Select Intended Upstream Starting Point in the Plan View. So I'll click this structure. Now select the downstream, which is this catch basin. So go ahead and click Enter. And there you go. Behold. Now it works properly. So. That was an issue that I had on this particular piece of pipe and I was wondering how the heck is this coming up with question marks rather than the actual slope. So come to find out the pipe slope does need to be consistent whether it's positive or negative. Hope that helps you. Take care. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.